Okay, hi, this is Joey O'Neill from Sound Systems Incorporated in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I can be reached at 843-602-5883, and I'm currently uh, at Trinity United Methodist Church in Andrews, South Carolina. We just did some uh, sound system upgrades where we installed a new audio mixer, wireless microphones, uh, video monitors in the congregation, um, recording software, stuff like that. <clears throat> the purpose of this video is to show you how we can record the worship service. Um, what I'm going to do is, I don't know if we can see it at this point, but we have a Presonus audio mixer over to our left, and what we're doing is all the audio that comes through this mixer leaves through subgroup one and two. That subgroup goes out of the mixer, comes over here magically, and plugs into this computer, which is a Mac Mini. <clears throat> so our, our uh, equipment list for the video recording is the Personas Mixer, provides sound, also a live congregation mic. We have a video monitor here that we can control our, our camera with, our high-def camera. And we have a Mac Mini that uh, we're just going to use QuickTime Player just for demonstration purposes to record. So I'm going to move this a little bit to the left so I can keep my fat belly out of the camera image because we know where the audio is coming from. Now, as we said in the previous video, the Vadio camera, a Sony high definition camera, is located outside of the congregation. We may be able to see in this video, but the two uh, 80 inch monitors suspended from the uh, ceiling out in the congregation, they show worship software, which is operated off this computer, which I've closed. And it also shows the, the camera image. For example, if I take the remote control and move it in, I can change the camera via remote control and then obviously this camera system here. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to record the worship service. So we're coming out of the HDMI uh, output of the camera and supplying it into an uh, Epifan um, video conversion box, which works very well. And that's coming straight into our Mac Mini. So the purpose of the Mac Mini is just to record uh, the video from the camera and audio from the uh, from the sound system. What we're going to do is we're going to leave that camera setting the way we are, and I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to come over here to QuickTime. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to come over here and there's QuickTime Player, and I just opened up QuickTime Player. <coughs> Excuse me. If you go to File, it will generally ask if you want to create a new uh, a new recording. And what I did before I started this, I came in and uh, put the lavalier microphone on and walked out through the congregation. And uh, it's as simple as literally coming up here. Uh, and uh, uh, Just put on the pastor's headset. The purpose of this uh, video is just to make sure that we're recording. And there's some old guy on there in the video that uh, is doing the recording for you. About as simple as operations I've seen, going to QuickTime, open up a new project. The camera image comes up immediately, and sound automatically feeds over to the recording. No. Okay. Back and leave that like it is. So, this looks different because this is what I recorded previously. If I were to close that program and reopen it, then I would have that type of camera image. One thing that we'll have to work through. A nice high definition camera shows a very good image uh, of the presentation in the church, but many times audio and video they'll get a little bit off, and it sounds like a bad, uh, um, like a bad B movie or an old horror movie from the 70s or something like that, where the words and the lips aren't quite moving at the same time. Cool thing about that is we have a delay process on the audio mixer that feeds audio to that. So that might be something where we have to do a recording uh, for a church Sunday, look at it, see how it looks, and then make adjustments. We can make adjustments in milliseconds to where we are delaying the sound to let it line up with the video and it looks like it looks a little bit more natural. You've seen uh, probably weather forecasters when high def channels first started coming out, the words in their mouth weren't quite lined up, but that's something we'll just have to work through. So camera image there. We've already gone through all of this stuff here. The camera image can be controlled by the remote control. We can do anything we'd like to do with it. 
set it up for presets, show it up, and then that comes over here and records onto our software in this section. Once we finish it, it, it can stay in the computer. Uh, Macs are great pieces, and from that point we can uh, Dropbox it or YouTube it or do anything we'd like to do with it or copy it out to some kind of a jump drive or thumb drive, but keeping it in that type of format gives the church a lot of flexibility. So, therefore, we can decide to keep what that is, a test, or go ahead and create our, our own unit. But very easy. QuickTime Player, File, Make New Recording, immediately comes up. One button in the middle, you hit play, and you, I'm sorry, you hit the button and it says record. That makes it nice and simple. <coughs> okay, any questions for me? I'm Joey O'Neill at Sound Systems Incorporated in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm at uh, 843-602-5883. Thank you.